by $50 million. Gentleman, the gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Amendment. This amendment, which I offer with Mr. Quigley of Illinois, who is a champion of equal access to justice, would restore the bill's cuts, devastating cuts, to the Legal Services Corporation. This nation is justifiably proud of its legal system. In fact, when we visit with foreign folks or vi travel in, in foreign lands, the thing I hear most about America they appreciate is our legal system. But it can be impossibly complex with a language all its own, unfamiliar to mo many people with the laws and procedures. It can be a bewildering maze even for highly educated people, even for lawyers. Now imagine that you're poor, uneducated, or scared and trying to navigate the legal system by yourself. Without legal representation, too many people are simply unable to vindicate their rights under the law. Think about victims of domestic violence who need protective orders from abusive partners, homeowners facing foreclosure, and indeed we've had too much of that in the last few years, or seniors who've been victimized by fraudulent lenders. Legal assistance is vital to assist assuring that these parties are treated fairly and are made aware of their rights. That's why I've been a champion of legal services, which help fund legal aid programs throughout the country. Unfortunately, this bill cuts $15 million from Legal Services Corporation, which will mean untold numbers of Americans will go unrepresented in court and unable to pursue justice. Even if this amendment passes and the funding is restored to the $365 million level, it will be a far cry from what's really needed. Consider this statistic, Mr. Speaker. In 1995, the Legal Services Corporation was funded at a $400 million level. That's higher than it was last year and higher than it would be if this amendment passes by $35 million. But in today's dollars, that $400 million figure would be $600 million. And all we're asking is to get it to $365. Unfortunately, we've cut our commitment to this program and it's having serious consequences. Nationally, nearly 50 percent of all eligible potential clients are turned away because of lack of funding. In Memphis, Memphis Area Legal Services lost 5 percent of its funding due to sequestration. When you add in state and local funds lost over recent years because of budget cuts, its funding was reduced by more than $300,000 and its staff was reduced from 50 to 38. The attorneys do heroic work, but to further reduce its funding will have serious consequences for their ability to serve those in need. The rights we've guaranteed under the law mean nothing if they can't go to court to enforce those rights. And with no money to hire a lawyer, no ability to navigate the system on their own, too many people are, are left without justice. Unless we ensure legal assistance, we effectively shut the courthouse doors to Americans who rely on attorneys to protect their rights. This amendment would decrease funding for LSC by reducing funds but for the law Drug Enforcement Administration, a $2 billion administration agency that receives a $35 million increase in this bill. This does not intend to stop DEA's important work to prevent prescription drug abuse or go after heroin and cocaine traffickers. But they can do their work with the funds that will be in this bill after this money is given to legal services. DEA would barely notice this loss of funds, but in the hands of legal services, it would change the lives of thousands of people who need legal representation. We're in a, still in the, coming out of a great recession, and it's, the disparity in wealth is greater than ever. And so those people in the middle class and those people who are poor particularly, which are greater than ever, have more and more and more need for legal services. It should not be cut at this time. I want to thank the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Quigley, for co-sponsoring this amendment, and I urge my colleagues to support it. And I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. For what purpose does the gentleman from Virginia rise? Strike your record.